Hey, welcome to this short video on how to create a Git repository and push up to your GitHub. All right, so let's get started. Go to github.com, go ahead and sign in if you have an account or sign up if you need one. Okay, once you're signed in, you can click on new to create a new repository right here on the left hand side or at the top right, there's a plus symbol and click on new repository. So two ways to get there. All right, so here you're gonna give your repository a name. Always remember to keep it short and memorable and uh, descriptive and also no spaces. I don't even think it would allow you. So I'm just gonna call it my repo. Not a great name, but it works. Give it a description if you like. Set it to public or private. Do not check any of these check boxes at the bottom. And the reason for that is because if you don't check them on the next page, you get instructions on how to upload your existing code to this repo. Okay, then click on create repository and here are the instructions. Okay, I'm gonna skip the first instruction right here. These are all commands that you run in your command line. I have a Mac, so I'm gonna open up my terminal and run these commands in the code, in the folder where I have my code. I'm gonna skip this first one because I already have a readme, so I don't need to do this. This creates a readme and adds some text into it. So I'm gonna start with git init. And what git init does is just tells, by the way, this is my code right here. So this is my terminal. If I do an ls, it tells me what content I have in the current directory. If you do a pwd, uh, it will tell you uh, where I'm at in terms of the, uh, the system. So this seems correct. So now I can run git init, the very first command, and that will tell the current directory that you want to use git to keep track of your changes. Next up is git add readme. I'm not going to do git add readme. Instead, I'm going to do git add everything. So git add and the dot means everything. So meaning all the files and folders in this directory, I want to keep track of them. Git commit, same thing. Uh, this will tell it that you want to commit all of these folders and files. Uh, I'm not going to go into details what add and commit are exactly because this is out of scope. That would be out of scope for this video. This message right here, uh, first commit, that just, uh, that should uh, describe why you're doing this commit. In this case, this is the very first time we're committing. So first commit is appropriate. Then we're going to change the branch name from master to main. This is a recent change that uh, GitHub has implemented uh, and they recommend that we uh, change all branch names from master to main. And I think eventually it's going to be main by default. But for now, let's just change it to main. And I'm not going to get into the politics of it. Uh, I, I agree with it, obviously. <laughs> I think it's a great idea that they're doing it. Uh, next up is git remote at origin and then the URL of the repo. So let's do that. Uh, and what this does, I hope you're still with me, uh, it will connect your Git, your folder, your current directory, your code base to your GitHub. Up to this point, there was no connection from your local Git to the remote Git, but this will connect the two. All right. And finally, do a Git push origin main. And again, I'm not going to go every part of this command but this will push up, this will actually upload your code base to your online uh, GitHub account. Just remember that git add, git commit, git push usually go together and you need to memorize those three commands. All right, and I don't see any error messages here and you can see, you know, this stuff is pretty standard. So if every time I see this um, and no error messages then I know it worked, if you wanna double check and make sure it works, just uh, refresh this page and it will have all your uh, changes there. And that's it. Uh, one last thing I wanna say, if you have a repository, if you have your code, just be just know that if there's a dot, hidden dot git folder that, uh, that tells this code base that git is being used. Just be aware of that. If you delete this folder, this hidden folder dot git, then you no longer, then this code base, this local code base is no longer associated with Git. Just keep that in mind. And sometimes also you might have some code that's already associated with a different uh, GitHub repository and it has a dot .git folder in there already. If that's the case, uh, just delete it. If you wanna start from scratch, if you wanna 
if you just want it to associate with your GitHub and not anybody else, I would just delete it and then go through the process. All right, guys, that's everything. I hope this helps. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I am a coding tutor, coding teacher, and I would love to grow my services and, and offer it to more people. All right, guys, take care. Bye.